Hello, squirrel. Bye. A cherry tree. It's grafted as well. And you can see the root bit is growing. Yeah, the top is growing as well, but I need to take out. This is just going to be wasting the energy of the plant. The red. So, after careful consideration, I'm going to be netting my cherry tree because I've seen some squirrels coming along. So I'll show you when I finish putting the net on. It's been covered with the netting from above and then on one side. That side where you see the black that is open for aeration. Show it from ground level. This is from the top. So you can see how the top is completely covered. Just throw the netting over and then use one to cover it on this side. You can see it's been held up. A pole on this side and there's another white pole yeah, on the other side. I'll show it from ground level. So here it is. But this side is actually open. I can see. That's for ventilation. I mean, no squirrels or birds will be I mean, coming in this way. Because it's far above the ground. They wouldn't bother jumping. I hope this works. This netting will be on till Saturday. That's just three days time. And then we'll do the initial harvest. Some of this should be very ripe by the they are red now. So I think they should be ready for harvesting in three days time. Cherries protected with a net.
So the squirrel is not daunted, really. He comes jumping from the fence right onto the tree and then picks a cherry, the spot of the one sticking out. This is still minimal because it's only picking the cherries that's sticking out of the net. I still see the netting as being successful because last year the squirrels they picked about a hundred cherries, but I think this is actually a lower number. Because I don't see the squirrels so frequently. I'll see what he does after eating the first one. And I'll go down there. Probably just harvest all those that are sticking out. Or cover them properly with the netting. More likely I'm going to harvest them. And I'll keep on watching to see if the squirrel comes back. Last year you would have three, four squirrels all at the same time. He'll try to come back, but I would have um, harvested. And then along comes a bird as well. Gone away now. So I'm down, but after careful observation, these cherries are they're red, but they're not yet ready. That's what it looks like in the picture. It's not yet ready. So I'll use cloth pegs and wait another week. So. If that's this closed space in place, well, it's going to be just another week for it to turn red and sweet. Okay, thank you for watching, and please come along with me and see. the drafting rootstock this is a rootstock that was growing out of my apple tree I pulled it out and I've put it in this container it's been here now for two years and I'm just going to get some apple to graft onto it so I have two of them so that's a rootstock already in place I can also use it for top stocking where I actually cut the entire top off and put different ones on it it's just different um, ways of improving or guarding foods if you want to do it at home you just see how it works this is an uh, apple tree rootstock thank you very much for watching and the daisies thank you please subscribe 
leave a comment and a like. I'll appreciate it. Thank mm-hmm. you.